everyone, this is Tori and today I will present something that everybody is waiting for. We will take a closer look at the new armies from the Bloodfields campaign. There are so many cool models, I can't wait to print them out and they will be super fun to paint and to play. This will be great, so let's get right into it! As you know, the theme of the campaign is pretty dark with the times of eternal sorrow upon Bloodfields. That's why the three new starter set armies are also a lot more fearsome than the last time. First, we have the Dark Elves. This race is a must-have in every system. They're super climatic. In the Bloodfields universe, the Dark Elves are also the Beastmasters, so in the army you will find some really cool creatures. Take a look at the Dark Elf Leader. You can tell that he means business with those two swords. He runs straight into battle and does not stop slashing until everything is dead. I am in love with the Dark Elf Witch. With those wings, she looks like a character from an evil fairy tale. Her stuff is fully infused with magic and ready to cast life-draining spells. This Dark Elf Spider Hybrid is a true terror. But the pose and his giant halberd make him a great, great character. Imagine how fast he can move on those agile spider legs. Next, we have the Beetle Beast. This guy has some serious armor. Look at this hard shell and reinforced fists. He's like an insect tank ready to demolish everything in his way. In the army, you will also find additional heroes, each with a different specialty. Everdark Elves are an army with a decent ranged damage and they have attacks with poison damage over time mechanic. After you weaken the enemy, you can bring your heavy hitters to finish the job. In defense, the Elves rely on shedding a dark aura that makes them harder to hit, but without correctly maneuvering your units, you can get in real trouble real fast. Now, let's move on to the Undead Knights. This army is like a royal court from nightmares. It has demons, it has skeletons, it has all the dark magic stuff, which is always fascinating. Let's start with the Leech. He has a Necronomicon and the sheer power of his spells make his robe full latter. That's a very cool effect. And as a true keeper of death, he has his giant scythe to reap the souls. You can add some magic light effects to make his miniature look truly out of this world. This shadow horseman looks super fast and deadly and he kind of reminds me of an undead Robin Hood. He keeps the skulls of the fallen enemies as trophies. Every detail on this miniature makes me want to paint it and play it. The big model in this army is the Two-Headed Skeleton Guard. This mutant is just enormous and if he dies, you can probably just reanimate him again. He has an improvised armor and a weapon that brings out his blunt primitive force. The Undead Dominion also has additional heroes, a warrior and an assassin as well as skeleton archers as supports. Fighting against such dreadful army requires a lot of bravery and the undeads will often test your morale and punish you for every moment of hesitation. Once the dominion reaches your backline, the real domination starts, with big attacks and powerful effects destroying every last defense. The army has a real cool theme and we will definitely see it a lot in battles. The last starter army are the Dragonborns. They look very dignified in their armors. This army has some real charisma and you can see that they will put up a fight. Dragons, as always and forever, are super cool. And in this army, every model looks just terrific. The tails look very natural and the scales are very detailed. 
I especially like this one, the Twin Dragon Mage. What a great concept! You can see that they just argue constantly which spell to cast next, but can also synergize well when the situation calls for it. The Dragonborn Standard Bearer has the most impressive wings and he also looks like a true leader. On the flag there is a lot of space for a decorative freehand and I wonder what the Dragonborn players will come up with to fill it in. As the big unit in the army we have the Lizard King. This is a beast among beasts. He is a display of full power and he is all muscle. One swing of that hammer should be enough to send an enemy flying out of battle. I also have to show you all the support units. Look at these little cobbles. They are almost too cute for this army, but they are also exactly like the dragon's younger cousins and they are absolutely adorable. In the lineup, you'll also find the rest of the Dragonborn clan. This army uses a very interesting mechanic that allows it to spend inspiration to purchase army-wide blessings from the Elder Dragon God. You can change your strategy every round depending on the events on the battlefield. Playing with Dragonborns requires utilizing their heavy armor and taking smart counterplay opportunities as every smart dragon does. And this is everything I wanted to show you today. You will find all you need to know about Bloodfields on our campaign page, so be sure to support the project and prepare yourself for many great battles on your tabletop. Ciao!